Hello, I am with Stephanie Wagner, the head of Ligna. And we are so happy and excited that after four years, Ligna is back. Stephanie, how are you doing? Well, hi, Afrotim. Good to see you. We met a preview just right now in presence a couple of days ago, but it's good to see you here again. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How, so since you mentioned preview, so after the fantastic preview already, we have been there. How is the momentum growing about Ligna 23? You know what, um, Ligna, I would always say, uh, and that's, that's what I do, is in my way, figuratively speaking, it's, it's like a strong beat, like really like a heartbeat, so to say. So uh, now not even three months to go until Ligna actually in Hanover, the, the beating is uh, faster and faster of the heart. And uh, yeah, coming from a conceptual phase um, with a really more broader view on, on Ligna and the general decisions that had to be taken, especially after COVID, so to say, and after four years not taking place, we now entered a very detailed phase, so let's put it that way. And it's, it's really what now defines our day-to-day -day business is uh, nothing of a routine. So it's really individual questions of exhibitors coming in who are preparing for their presentations and all the topics now relevant for them at the end of the day is what moves us and what is now relevant uh, for us as well. So imagine every single question that evolves around Lena internally or externally at one point in time will land either on my desk or on the desk of my team. So after four years without a Lena in presence, that's, that's quite something. So no routine, which it never really was to be honest, but uh, even less of a routine than before. So what we are now doing is we're really deeply involved in the promotion of Ligna. So at the end of the day, that's what, what counts for exhibitors. And for us then overall is to attract visitors to Hanover in May and uh, the right visitors. Um, and we're deely involved, as I said, in assisting our ex exhibitors and to optimize their presentations and such with all the tools we have available for them. Yeah. That's so great. momentum is growing. As you asked, momentum is growing and it's picking up speed every week now, every day. So our internal countdown is really ticking away. That's right. Let me ask you, how does it feel to be the captain of the ship? This is the first Ligna you are, uh, you'll be you are working as a head of Ligna. Yeah, honestly, so to say, mm. the excitement about Ligna itself is really unchanged, to be honest. So no matter in which position you are in, you or you hold within the team, the excitement is always there. So, and at the end of the day, what it's all about, um, Ligna, as well as every other event, is always a work of a team. So it's not only me. So it's it's the result. I might be the face in front a lot of times, but there is a backbone behind it, and that's the entire team. So. Obviously it is an honor. Um, it's actually a great honor to be in this position now and to be responsible for the project management of Ligna. Um, and even more so because I know it, it holds a very high value within the company of Deutsche Messe internally. And uh, yeah, we all know, and I'm proud to, uh, to say that it's a well-known top position event within the woodworking industry as a whole, I would say, hopefully everybody agrees. So I definitely do feel the responsibility. Um, I, together with the team, um, have to prepare for and to, to present the, the best possible platform. So nationally and internationally. Um, I know it's an important investment everybody's making and the entire woodworking community is coming together so that it does put a bit of pressure on uh, myself, obviously, and the entire team. So we know that certain expectations are being brought towards us um, with a world leading trade, trade fair and, and flagship event like Ligna. And that is something we have to fulfill. And we are very aware of that. But uh, yeah, overall, I would say, despite the pressure it brings with it, it's a great feeling to be part of that great community and great industry. I mean, I've learned to value and, and cherish that over the last decades, not even in this position, but in the last one as well. So, yeah. That's right, but I'm sure with a great team, you will be able to do it as, as we have seen a very, I would say a demo in the Ligna preview. Anyway, 
So we have we had a chance to interact with many uh, customer exhibitors during the Ligna preview, but I will I want to hear it out from you. You, how has been the response of this year's focus topic from the exhibitors? Yeah, um, the focus topics, and we did receive honestly a lot of questions about those, um, especially during the preview and now right after it. Um, maybe to put that up front before um, with regards to the focus topics. I would say that decades ago, nobody really expected from a fair organizer to set focus topics even. Um, so maybe a bit simplified, but you offered a platform, you sold the space, and that was mainly it. Um, nowadays, I think that's our opinion at least, and that's what we have to and hope to deploy, do display with Ligna and, and the team made up from Deutsche Messe and VDMA, that we have to be part of the industry and part of the community and that's what people expect from us so to be there in the middle of it and together with the players uh, we set the topics and we move them along so I think that's kind of an expectation that comes from the industry and the focus topics um, to say that before before I focus on what they actually are this time um, they're not developed out of the blue it's not like we're sitting down at the table uh, at the green table and decide oh this are going to be the focus topics so it's a result of long discussions with our exhibitors. It's a result um, of discussions with our partners and looking closely at the industry and the topics that moves them, move them. I mean, over the last years, actually. So I would say there are always topics like, for instance, the woodworking transformation topic we have this year in 23, which is actually um, the topic of digitization and automation you know, depending on uh, which uh, level you are in the industry or in the company size. This is a topic that really moves everybody. It moves all of our exhibitors um, along the primary sector, the secondary sector, uh, you know, along all exhibition areas. So it's a really broad topic that we bring to life there at Ligna. Others, like for example, this year's prefab building processes, um, the wooden construction issues and the uh, wood-based bioeconomy topics um, that we call out for to 2023 um, are probably for a smaller range of people, but nonetheless, we think it's our task to take those topics that are uh, up to date and, you know, even if it's affecting a smaller niche of customers, visitors and exhibitors alike, it's something that we play for us, more a content driven um, issue for our exhibitors. They uh, take up the topics, move them along and display them on their stands. So it's, it's a combination of everything, I would say. It's a display at the exhibitor booth, it's a marketing content related issues that we play out and yeah, of our partners. So they're yeah, being taken up, and that was your main question, they're being taken up pretty well. And I think we saw that at the preview as well, and you were there. Um, we had two very interesting um, speakers for the topic of prefab building processes. And again, that's what we do. We try to see trends, not only trends, but also long-term developments. And that's what we take up and include in our content. Great. Steffi, we always feel Ligna is the best woodworking show, just not only because all the international woodworkers are uh, like the exhibitors are here, but the best and the most important visitors we see in on Ligna floors around the Ligna to all the exhibitors stand. So for our visitors, can you briefly tell us what's going on on Ligna stage? Yeah, the Ligna stage actually is um, um, kind of a new format, a new stage format, and it's uh, providing a stage both for exhibitors and visitors alike. So it's not only for exhibiting companies, so everybody who has an interesting topic who wants to bring it on stage uh, alongside our focus topics and the special interest areas can do that. So um, it will, will be available, as I said, to a live audience um, present at Ligna on site in May in Hanover, um, as well as for the online audience. So we will stream live and it will be recorded. So everything will be available afterwards on demand as well. And yeah, what is the stage actually? What is our goal with it? 
for us, it shall serve as the source of uh, compressed information, so to say, alongside our focus topics. So what I mentioned before, ideally, it will be independent on a certain company promoting its products or the company itself, but based on problem solution aspects. So very user oriented, very user friendly, hands on approaches that are being brought on the stage. That's our goal. And it will be covered in two languages. So in German and in English, it will be simultaneously translated. You will be entering everything um, via our website. So screen and live on site in the audience. Uh, yeah. And maybe one more thing, because we are always aware that it's, it's sometimes quite of a challenge to bring a stage like this or a conference like setting to a trade fair, because we know the main goal is obviously to get visitors on the booth of our exhibitors. But again, that goes with what I said before. We think it's our um, task, not only to bring people to see our exhibitors, but to move topics along. And that's what we do with the Ligna stage as well. So it's very short bits of information. So we know that there is not a lot of time during a trade fair to set hour after hour in the conference light setting. But you can consider it like small bites. So interesting topics, 10 to 15 minutes of presentation, sometimes a bit longer when it's a panel discussion. But usually it's very in small bites and you can really plan very well ahead because it's uh, published in our program and you can see what is of special interest to you and very, you know, focused can go to that presentation. Right. Uh, the final question. Right, already you have mentioned about the live streaming and the video recording. So do you have the major topic discussions and major uh, program will be online? So some, some if, because we are getting many questions, if someone is unfortunately unable to travel to, to Hanover, all the way to Hanover in May, what is the situation, how they can at least see the program? Yeah. I mean, there's obviously several ways you can do that. Now, what I would always like to stress up front is, you know, Ligna as such, and we talked about that before, even after the Ligna Innovation Network, we did the digital ed event we did in spite of Ligna, which had to be canceled um, before. Um, the core of it is always and will remain to be the live presence, in-presence event in Hanover, because uh, for me, and hopefully you all agree, that's what it's all about. I mean, we just experienced that in a very small setting in the recent preview, but the companies, um, the community, uh, everything evolves around a business that wants to and needs to be meeting. And, you know, in person, yeah, face to face, everybody talked about that in the past month, actually. But life and in color and with all the buzz and noise going on and the touch and feel around it, Ligna, that's Ligna. It's, it's a community meeting. Some even say it's, it's kind of a family meeting even. I mean, I think there's no place where so many people gather from the community, like the, the global sales teams, the suppliers, the distributors, the agents, sales reps customers, clients from all over the world. That's, you know, that's the people who gather in Hanover and May. Um, but as you said, um, for those who cannot do that and experience what's going on in the aisles and experience and compare it everything on site, uh, we do offer a couple of things. Um, first thing that always comes to my mind, and that's nothing new to be honest, is our exhibitor and product search. Because it's not only presenting the company information like in text, um, most of our companies, exhibiting companies, um, put the videos, product videos online, image videos, uh, company information with moving pictures. So that's a source of information. Um, we will have a Ligna app beforehand, like roughly four weeks before the show takes place. You can download the app. That's a digital format. Again, uh, we have the Ligna stage I was just talking about, which will probably be the main source of information, to be honest. Um, when it comes to online and digital information, because uh, we will have roughly 100 speakers there on the stage. So that's quite a number and it will cover, cover a lot of topics from Ligna. Um, and you can see exhibitors on the stage um, with their solutions um, and uh, yeah, important partners and visitor groups as well who will be represented there. 
yeah, that's the app. And we will have one more thing, maybe, on the guided tours. I mean, everybody knows the guided tours already, but we've changed the format though, so it can adapt to people not being able to take part in presence as well. Meaning that together with the team walking the tours actually on site, we will have a film team accompanying them. And this film team will, fil will be filming the company stations taking part in the guided tours. And they will stream it live and it will be recorded and then streamed whenever you want to watch it. So um, based on certain focus topics that we offer, the guided tours will be available as well for everybody who cannot make it. Yeah. I totally That's agree great. with you. I totally agree with you, Stephanie. As you said, as uh, you know, we, we are the Europe's first digital magazine, but still I feel great ideas you can exchange online, but real business, you have to be there physically. I mean, there's always the, you know, I mean, there's always this format from the for the business matchmaking that we also offer uh, on site. So you can enter your profile data and your interests and what you're looking for. And you can be matched with other people who have registered in that. But um, yeah, we offer that and it's a good thing to offer that and it broadens the reach. So all of those digital online aspects for us really represent an add-on. It's really a geographical add-on maybe to broaden even into target groups that have not been classical visitor targets for Ligna before. That's an option. It's good for people who cannot travel, who have still some company restrictions maybe or who have visa problems. But at the end of the day, you know, looking throughout the halls and browsing the aisles, um, that's something you cannot do online. I mean, there is no meeting people and no, oh, seeing old acquaintances and new contacts. You cannot do that online. Um, but, you know, as an add-on and to broaden and widen the reach, also time-wise, like it will be there beforehand, before Ligna, and it will be there afterwards. Um, so for a couple of months afterwards, we will brighten the range of people we can attract and that we can, you know, reach with that. So as an add-on, perfect. It's true. And thank you once again for uh, giving us the opportunity to jointly bring out the Ligna Digital Daily. We will publish three newsletters for the exhibitor to all the visitors and all online readers. Thank yeah, you we are people. very much looking forward to that. It was a great thing and a great format we did with you in the past, and we're very much looking forward to do that again with you. Thank you very much for your time, Stephanie. Thank you very much, Afartim. Have a good day.